right, who wants to give the recap? Keith. Keith. I can't see where we are right now. Bottom. Uh, you can't it, see where well, you are because you're. But we're in the lower oh, right. right. Yeah, you're in a dark. You're in, you're in a dark hallway. <laughs> Let's see. Last time, table man became crystal table man, and then became inside of rapier dis 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 destroyed disintegrated man. And then went down a <laughs> narrow hallway, one might call it linear, and there's crystal everywhere, and darkness, and I haven't seen much, but all of my things died, so I ran. And now I'm in a dark hallway. I've accomplished a lot lately in my life. <laughs> After having extricated a dagger from your scaly hide. It's... It's not the first time, and it won't be the last time. <laughs> That's a nice fantasy way of saying after pulling a knife out of his butt. <laughs> All right, I, people. I was I, facing the direction the dagger came from. <laughs> I, I need a uh, I need a knife tracker. Let's see if Drez actually gets stabbed by another dagger if he manages to remain <laughs> dagger free for the rest of this campaign. Because I right, how, long, way, how long one. did I run around with that one arrow in my chest? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot. That's the little things. I'm going to step was, off of Skitter. Because that was like an Thanks. episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we need to find Drez. Drez? Ah, oh, there down. he is. Are the oh. knives gone? <laughs> Yeah, uh, we killed the things. Those were knives. <laughs> yeah, we killed the things. That means no more knives. Come you on, go let's first. Go. <laughs> Adventure. Money. There we go. Oh, well, there we go. I'm on the object slayer. I was <laughs> really, like, why we're can't not after I money. Anything? We we're we need to get down to the bottom of this uh, nefarious. Plot, though it seems like this isn't the work of the druids, it's the work of something else. Something more arcane. Something so, with lots of knives. We were uh, we were trying to get through the door, and that's what caused the the uh, sprites to attack Ooh, us. Speaking of knives, I bring out the evil knife. And it, I touch it against the crystal. It is suitifiably evil to go along with the suitifiably evil crystal that it doesn't match. Why do you have a thing that's actually called the evil knife? Because she also has a jar with a parasite in it. Yeah. What? I like collecting. Is it too late why, to why not do come you on this journey? On, why do you hang on to the evil artifacts that we find? Because they're artifacts. Don't you know oh. that when I came to shore to find my father, uh, I'm concerned. Artifacts isn't the important word. <laughs> <laughs> One of the groups that uh, initially took me in was the, uh, what are they called? They're the cat. The tabaxi. Oh, tabaxi. Oh, the tabaxi. Yeah, the Tabaxi Trade Consortium. Yeah, the Tabaxi. They showed me the ropes, uh, at least around your terrestrial surface realm. And in return for their services, which would largely be uh, trying to track down rumors regarding my father's whereabouts, uh, all that they asked in return was that whenever I went exploring that I brought stuff back for them. Well, uh, do you think they're going to appreciate getting a evil worm and an even more evil dagger? Well, maybe the evil dagger. As for the worm, hmm. I'm just keeping that around. Because it, it has explained a thing or two. Yeah, I suppose it has. Anyway, can we, can you remind me what caused the sprites to appear after uh, attempting you, to open you the door? You smashed into the door. the door and it knocked them free of the ceiling. Oh yeah, oh, let's let's okay. gaze upon the ceiling. My light should be shedding its rays on okay. it. Okay, so now that you look up at the ceiling, you see actually uh, quite a number of like skulls and stuff up there. Ew! Um, Ew. It looks like a number of them are kind of uh, fused into the crystal ahead of you, and huh. it's like uh, it almost looks like um, the the. Did something suck them up into the rafters and then? crystallize them where are the rest of their bones uh you see you see kind of some bones here and there um but it looks like some people died somewhere maybe here maybe not here 
um, and we're kind of entombed in the crystal and you can you can kind of see it. It so the way the crystal works is it's like it's very top heavy. It it comes from the ceiling and then kind of slopes down to the floor and then kind of comes back around. You know, it has to have like a kind of a uh I guess proper supports to stay where it is. And so you kind of mm-hmm. have this like weird almost crystal tunnel, except for, you know, it kind of caps off at a at a certain point. But uh Dimitri, you're the closer you get to that crystal stuff, the more in danger you are of uh, scraping your your not so polished face placed on a, on like all of it, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Huh. Now we couldn't access this door because it's still. Requires... Oh no, the door's open. the do- The oh. door has been smashed open. At least oh, the, the first door layer. was smashed open. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the first first time uh, Dimitri has succeeded at bashing down a door, I think. <laughs> Alrighty. I think no, 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 no. You Kool Aid Man did quite a number. It only once. took like 40 episodes. <laughs> he he did right. manage I... to smash through two doors. I step but, yeah. in through the, uh, into the precipice of the unknown. Okay. It's a very small hallway. Is there another door here? Yeah, there's another door there. Is it locked? I, I'm a, it, of course it is. Every door is locked. I attempt to open the door. It opens. Yay! So you find yourself in a small storeroom uh, filled with boxes and barrels of many different Ooh. shapes and sizes. You know what that means? Ah, uh, more loot. Skill tab. Investigation. Okay. Meh. Eh. Well, I mean, there's some boxes. Uh, I so had previously it, uh, investigated because I still don't know where the knives came from. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The knives are gone, by the way. Like, more or less, they hit you and then disappeared. You got shot from the dark by something, and before you could figure out what hit you, they're gone. Okay. Anyway, uh, so, uh, Drez, you do get another investigation if you, if you want to. Let me find because you were right investigating tab. for flesh wounds as opposed to uh, <laughs> shit. <Yep. laughs> so you guys don't really find a whole lot of uh, anything really of interest about these boxes or barrels. Um, okay, they look like they've you know kind of been been there for a while. Uh, you know, people may store some shit in there. You find like some swords and maybe like some armor. Probably left over away. by the humans. Yeah. But yeah, that's about uh, it. It's weirdly unremarkable. I guess you got to keep your uh, your your plates and your the uh, your um candlestick holders and stuff somewhere. It looks mostly like siege supplies. So there's like the barrels are filled mostly with oil. Ah, gross. All right, now that's I left for us is the crystal. Can we even go gross? this direction? Yeah, so this is. This is denser crystal than you've smashed through before. I had shattered some of it, though, right? With my Gross shatter. feels like a weird reaction for yes. a machine man to have to, bu- to barrels of oil. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's thick crystal. And is does it stop here? Or where does it stop? Yeah, so kind of... You know those, like, um, trick hallways that, like... You know, they look like they're just receding into the distance, but in reality, they're getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. And so it makes you feel like Gandalf and the Hobbit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what happens there. Uh, so eventually you're, you're kind of like wedged in the corner and... Uh, uh, yes, it's the hallway of forced perspective. Yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hmm. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> and... What is uh, this, how you say, schnozberry? You don't have a nose anymore, so you wouldn't know it to begin. You'll with. never that... taste again. <laughs> <laughs> affirmative. Affirmative? Did you really say that? No, I said affirmative. I, I thought oh. he was holding his nose and trying to talk with, with it oh. held. <laughs> I thought he made a self-name <laughs> pun. I don't that even no know. Sense. I guess this would only end. Oh, oh, this is a oh. terrible thing to do to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. Oh, no it's anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Well, we don't stand much of a chance of getting through the crystal. So our options we, uh, are a crystal doors. hallway, a crystal gates, and a locked door. Hmm. That's right, the door is locked. I, I vote for the gate. Why not? We can also try the squishy squishies, but that might lead to collateral damage. I look up at the ceiling. Yep. All right. Uh, back all we right, go. Let's head back. Sorry, skip the man. Oh, bye. He is uh, maybe around. You don't know. Oh, no. oh, he still feels a great shame. He Florida. sneaks I... real well while he's wallowing in shame. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll take him off map just because I don't want to drag him around. He'll show up when uh, he's needed or referenced. Oh, okay, so like we... man bat. Yes. So we already found the ballistas. He's got the ears for it. So right. that door was completely covered in crystal, the one that was up there. Uh, the gate is. Sorry. Like the, the big gate that kind of bars your entrance into the rest of the keep. I'll just cover it in junk. Mm -hmm. Should have actually added that today, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, what about this door? It is a heavy door, and it is um, it is barred from your side, actually. Barred? Yeah. Like there are metal bars? Yeah, like there's a there's like a big hefty timber holding it shut. Oh. Oh okay. wait, so we can just lift it up? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Lift. <laughs> Chuck it to the side. <laughs> we didn't see this before. Nope. You just walked past it. Wait, no, didn't we try to open this with, like, didn't we try to unlock it? Last did Skinner, time? No. Did her, I don't think Skinner tried opening that door. I thought we thought I we thought had we the had. wrong size keys or something for that one. Oh, well, yeah, you tried, you might have tried the key, but it wasn't locked. Because it, it was... I don't know, <laughs> I don't remember. I'm fairly certain these doors bar some, from this side, but I could be wrong. As, I feel like at some point, if this is the case, as a GM, you're doing the Jackie Chan, you didn't ask if I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I might be. I'm. I'm kind of like that tired feisty. Well. Uh, how okay, I did say it was locked. Balls. Okay. Uh, well, it was locked. It was just locked from your side. We'll go with that. I okay. don't know. I am oh sorry. My God. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right. How, how many ping pong stairs. balls do you think we can fit in also, this room? Also, why are the stairs going this way? Like, they go up. They go up. After the criticism about the spiral staircase, I did. I tried to make it more obvious. I, it, they're okay. going up to me. It looks yeah. fucking obvious. Okay. okay. Well then, going up. Give me a second. I have to actually make the uh, the second floor. Oh shit! <laughs> make the second floor. Well, no. Or drag in I I have to drag it. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I have to drag it in. Unfortunately, it's on the object layer. Drag it Adobe in, Illustrator drag is open in. for unrelated reasons. <laughs> No, I am I am prepared for today. Maybe over prepared, maybe under prepared. We'll see. But at least, at least I have enough map for you. I just don't have half the rooms are empty because I don't have have enough like assets because I'm trying to make it like progressing look nice. too fast. You can just add more enemies. <laughs> I that is very true. Uh, originally, Table Mancer was there purely to slow you down. Uh, in every time? situation, every situation. <laughs> in, even the third time. Yeah. All right. Well, sort of. So originally, <laughs> Table Mancer was going to uh, pop out of your bag when you were crossing the bridge because he could animate the bridge. Mm. Um, but then he got left behind, and I was like, well, I'm just going to keep the encounter since it's awesome, and I want to have them attacked by the bridge, even though he <laughs> should have done that from the very beginning. Um, and then, uh, well, rest is sort of... Uh, Whoa. <laughs> This program has weird layer control, and I don't like it, but it's okay. All right, so you guys pile into a staircase, uh, and it is a cramped small staircase that more or less goes up and then, like, doubles back and, uh, you know, kind of, like, turns around and keeps going the uh, kind of the direction you came. Uh, and you find yourselves here. Here. There you go. Ah, uh, yes. It is a beige square. Hey, but I'm lighting it. So we should be <laughs> I mean, there is a more. receding staircase in there. It's just, you're kind of all oh, covering it with lights and auras and whatnot. Yes. Now it's there's the store a door. locked. It's very hard to make out what's on the screen. <laughs> yeah. It'll be more apparent when you're... Shell, I'm going to get rid of your light source. 
Oh. I don't think you I... need it right now. I grope blindly in the blinding beigeness for any kind of door. <laughs> there, it's off. Okay. No, uh, Alarn is still lighting the way. Uh, realistically, Dimitri's axe is effectively a torch at all Dimitri's, times if he has um, it out. aura is also yeah. creating a color. And bizarrely, overlay. you have when produced flame. When he puts flame. it away, does it stop burning? Uh, no, it is still yeah. burning. It is just oh. not burning his stuff. Uh, Someone's got to cook those rocks. Yep. <laughs> oh no, those are those are. Uh, what is stopping bag of... from just putting other stuff in the bag of infinite rocks? <laughs> uh, it doesn't fit. Yeah, there's too many can... rocks in the way. Yeah, all you can do is stick about a hand in there, and if you do put an item in there, chances are it gets buried under the infinite rocks. I just imagine that he can just take that bag and invert it, and it would create like a pyramid of rocks on the spot. Oh, uh, we did that can... once, and I think that what we've ruled out is that it kind of runs out and then replenishes after a little while. Yes. Now, if you were to upgrade so he, the bag, so other things might happen. Like, oh, he can't just like, stick his head out a window and, and invert it for long enough that we just have like a ramp to run down to escape yeah. the tower. No, <laughs> it, it can create them enough to like fill a small, like the... A box or a barrel. I wonder what will happen if I upgrade yeah. Damien. Ca casual reminder, you can use upgrade uh, orbs on anything, even more like esoteric I've been, stuff. If I've been trying to. to save my we upgrade have used orbs the warp for things stone. that are like, We should use the warp stone on the rock bag. <laughs> <laughs> you create teleporting rocks. <laughs> All right, I pull out my upgrade orb, and I what? pull what? out my bag of infinite rocks. Okay. And I I I I slump them together. Okay, so like you're proof. just you're just thinking about upgrading it? Alright, you now have a bag Not of plus thinking. one rocks. I made it happen. Okay. Well. Now the wait, is the bag rocks. of rocks wait what? <laughs> you have more more rocks, they're larger, and they all have a plus one modifier on them. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, I have I... a bag of bl rocks plus one. I pull out one of the plus one rocks. It's a bit oh bigger than God. the last ones. Now I have to say that Demetrius is dumb as a bag of rocks plus one. <laughs> <laughs> is it a bit bigger? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a bit more throw, you know, like aerodynamic looking. Like, you know, you could throw it a little it, bit what's better. What's it made out of? What rock? Uh, I, What rock were you hoping for? Actually, no. You probably weren't thinking uh, about it when you pulled it out. It's about the most generic rock you've ever seen, but it looks a higher quality generic rock. Uh, I was thinking it would look like columnar jointing. Okay, it is a columnar <laughs> jointing. Wait, There's like three of them on. next to each other. It looks a little bit more unwieldy, but I mean, it's it's plus one columnar jointing. <laughs> I, 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 I put, I, I think of, of rocks and I pull out the, uh, I think of pumice stone. All right, you got I some pumice. This oh hey, this goes specific. well with chips. Uh, uh, anyone well, have um, have uh, like some tough calluses on their foot that they need to get rid of? Because I don't have use for this. What about our life, which suggests we'd want to get rid of calluses? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're covered in scales. Dress probably doesn't Over even here. wear shoes. Wait, he does have <laughs> shoes. What am I talking about? The only person... Wait. Is yeah. Skitter covered in scales? No. No. Okay. I'm the I, only uh, person I'm with normal this... flesh here. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave upon the pumice stone on the ground, and you can do whatever you want. Okay. I'll I just... attempt to open door. Okay. It is... Uh... Locked or stuck or something. Oh, damn it. All right. Is there a keyhole or uh, anything? There is no keyhole. Um, How much uh, clearance does the bottom of the door have? Uh, It's got about half an inch, maybe. Dress. <laughs> how small do you think lizards are? <laughs> You don't uh, have you could to turn be into... a mouse could easily squish under there, but you're you averse to skink. mammals, aren't you? Yeah, skink would fit under there real well. This starts to feel like some kind of abuse. <laughs> How do you think Skitter feels? I'm gonna pull on the door. <laughs> it is it is stuck or locked what? or 
What? Whatever. He breaks off the knob. Uh-huh. What's going to happen? <laughs> did you see Wait, that? Did, oh, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> he didn't see you it. You pushed on the door? He, like, okay. You push or pull. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to open it. Yeah, well, I'm not uh, entirely what are, aware of you the, gotta explain the shape of the door. To me, sorry, I didn't see that it was a net 20. Uh, you got to explain <laughs> to me exactly how this went down so I can tell you exactly... <laughs> How this, Is this goes a down. Hinged door or a descending gate. It's a hinged door. It's like a thick, hefty, uh, uh, thick, hefty door. But it is, you know, this looks like a door that's meant to kind of repel invaders, and you just uh, nat twenty did. So what were you trying to do? Push, pull. Which way does the hinge go? <laughs> uh, the hinge is on the other side. So that uh, means so it opens have to push it. Yeah. yeah, you have to push it. Then I suppose we're pushing it. Okay, so you more or less just uh, you more or less just Hulk rip it. Uh, well, not rip it off its hinges, <laughs> but you just like give a full body shove, and the thing just goes flying backwards. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! I meant, I meant to do that. <laughs> There's kind of a, a horrible, like screechy cracking noise, Uh-oh. and then another screechy noise that is significantly less like door metal or wood based. Uh, and then, like, kind of a crunch thump as the uh, door oh, oh, no. uh, destroys this thing. Uh, so we'll just... <laughs> oh, it looks like a crystal go- <laughs> goblin. Okay. You, uh... uh <laughs> you, uh... These city I folk mean, just don't know how to make doors. How I know how you feel about doors now. <laughs> You really broke on through to the other side, Tres. Its feet are like sticking out, but they're not. Uh, they're not ruby slippers. Anyway, roll for initiative. <laughs> now it's time to light my fire. Oh dun, shit! Dun, 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 so uh, I might as well describe what you've walked I, into. Uh, I like trip. Yeah. Down the stairs. Oh, alar- <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ow. Um, oh, dress too? We both fall down wow. the stairs. <laughs> by, by, you, oh my god, Dress, you got can the we just, natural can 20. Can we just put the door back on and start over? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, guys, gather behind me. And I just turn around and see him just pummel, like, just fall down the stairs. Dress is, like, staring at his hands with awe, and, like, Lauren is, like, doing a handstand. <laughs> on the stairs, like the most dangerous possible thing. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. You notice Skitter's like No way. <laughs> not there. <laughs> we got three nat ones out of four on initiative. <laughs> and Dimitri, Holy I think, was crap. a two, right? I was a four. Well no. What w- oh yeah, you rolled a four because the initiative roller is b- busted. Yep. Okay, I thought for a second it's like if oh, you I'm rolled... still using the, the initiative roller. Well, it's yeah, fine. Just if, it was, if it was adding mods, it would have given me a three. Yeah. My God, you guys. <laughs> All right. Wait, well. I did roll initiative. Wait, I did put initiative mod equals one. What? Yeah. Uh... It's dumb. All right. We well. already have four crits and and anti crits this is i i wonder if i like <laughs> all we've done is go up a staircase <laughs> it's magic <laughs> all right well um so the uh the room that dimitri walks into nobody else is aware of this uh because they're they're too busy being odd or buffoons uh so we're we're going to uh leave you in the dust for oh this one. jesus i just scrolled up there's so many more yeah, so you walk into a uh, you walk into a room that is covered in that black shit and crystal. The uh, the stuff that I've drawn on is like only half of it. There's more of it everywhere on the ceiling and the walls, uh, whatnot. This room looks awful, and the uh, the biggest crystal kind of in that like back center that is the um, that is like pulsing with energy, and you oh. just see like a small horde of goblins, uh, just emerging from the ground the nearby crystals dropping from the ceiling and stuff like that okay also fair reminder paladins get two attacks at this level 
You've been forgetting. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold Somebody on. left a comment. When did that. I get that? Level five or six? I was going to say, I've had that for like ages. Yeah, you've had that since the train. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yes. I've, I've totally forgot about that. You got an extra attack at level five. Oh, my God. Yep. You've had it for two levels. That's like three months of our campaign time. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> Holy crap. Could have been dicing more people up. Wow, there's, there's not even like a downside to it. It just says you attack to uh, twice whenever you do an attack action. <laughs> Period. <laughs> not like you have to be like not moving or anything. Like, nope. Alrighty. Well, um, anyway. So huh. then... <laughs> So the horde of goblins are going to start rolling your way. They they look um they look messed up. Like they're they're um what's a good example of a of a game? It almost looks like there are they are creatures that aren't goblins wearing like goblin skin suits. Ew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cuz like their joints don't fit and like you can see bits like a flesh of flesh missing and it's just crystal in there and you know they don't they don't move right and so stuff. so much of their innards have turned into crystal that the flesh over top them is bulging and just tearing yeah ew okay so one two four two three four oh no surrounded oh no so they're just going for you i'm i'm focusing on movement speed a little bit mm -hmm. two three four four okay so they more or less just come at you and they <laughs> are just going to one two three my god. Mm -mm. I'm dead. <laughs> Probably. One of them crit, maybe? One, two, three. Okay, so you take a grand total of 14 damage as they claw at you. Uh... Okay. It is now your turn. Alrighty. Um, well, I expected to have friends. I don't. So I'm going to immediately chug uh, one of my. Do I, wait? Do I have a greater healing potion? Yeah, you have you have one of the large ones. I have I have written down uh, four repair potions, three medium repair potions. So I have one that's bigger than that. Yeah, the fourth one is the big is the big variety. Vivi knows who you are. <laughs> Vivi knows how much damage you take. <laughs> Okay, I'll quaff one of those. Is that a uh, forty-four plus four? Uh, no, that's that's the medium ones, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, those are the medium ones. Um, the big one is eight die eight plus eight. Alrighty. Or eight Let's... die four plus eight, not eight die eight. God, that would be ridiculous. Eight die four. Yeah, plus eight. eight d four plus eight. Let's yeah. do it. Ah, okay, I needed that. <laughs> All, right. All right, don't forget about skitter in the turn order. Right, also a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um. My God. And that's Dress it. isn't in there. Uh, no. Drinking a potion is a bonus action. I established that a Drink long time ago because I know you guys are going to be in combat a lot. And okay. I've, yeah. I didn't realize that. Because uh, I thought drinking a potion was a regular action. Uh, maybe we're just playing with our own rules. Yeah. I I've homebrewed the shit out of this campaign to be more friendly to you guys so that you can keep fighting without like. Just being like, well, I drink a potion yep. for my action. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, the, the the goblin in front of me. Oops, he's dead. Woo! Roll. My god. <laughs> Roll a die hundred. Roll my god. <laughs> All right, because this is the axe of wonder we're talking oh, about. Oh, god, no. This is another crit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I, it's probably I, for the best that we're not in the room. Yep, we're down okay. the stairs. So I this fell is down the so stairs. awful. I hate so this stupid here's axe. what happens. Maybe you'll blind them with magic farts or something. <laughs> um, How do you blind somebody with a fart? So bird, you did last time. 
Uh, roll. Oh, true. How much damage do you roll? Roll eight die six. Okay, mm. you kill <laughs> all of these Holy goblins shit. as a lightning bolt. I, I guess more like just a beam of fire just crashes out of your axe and just obliterates hey, a line of goblins. I was going to say, it's also glittery, like fiery yeah, no. confetti. It, it, looks like, <laughs> it looks like you f- fired off the world's largest Roman candle. And Can it also just go like, <laughs> yeah, <a> sound effect? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's more like you know, a pew, <laughs> almost a laser. Yeah. I've been playing a sorcerer in my other campaign, and I just realized that you basically gave bird wild magic. Yes. Yep. I mean, mm-hmm. he took the axe of wonder, <laughs> and then he set it on fire. <laughs> All right, you get a second attack. Oh, by man. the way. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I'm. I'm... <laughs> I, I don't again. know if, again. what do I even do with a second attack. Well, I can't did. top what so happened. I, I so turn that's... to look at the little goblin next to me, <laughs> and I say, "You're next," <laughs> and miss. You miss. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's now uh, two two crits and three crit fails already <laughs> in this one episode. <laughs> oh damn! Oh my god! All right. Drez, the uh, the first, shock and awe right? of your your door uh, door removal skills has been mildly mitigated by a laser beam, uh, <laughs> and you can now uh, <laughs> maybe realize that some shit's happening in the in the room beyond you and take an action. My shock and awe has been mitigated by an awe of shock. Yes, <laughs> I think Skitter's first though because of his uh, his ungodly dexterity score. He's also down the uh, stairs and still moping. <laughs> he has serious morale penalties. Aww. I'm going to enter the so, room. Spe- uh, just just in terms of uh, describing this, I think that's Skitter's fourth natural one in a row. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he kept rolling nat ones uh, previously. Because he killed to... my birds and attacked me. <laughs> yeah, so he is... Uh, he is like well in the hole of not wanting to do anything because he is a danger to himself and others. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Jesus. Let's Christ. see. By the way, Bird, uh, when you fired off the uh, the lightning bolt, you noticed that you uh, you hit the crystal and it's uh, it's like scored or burning or something. Ew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forget that crystals are like kind of organic. God, they're weird. Yeah, <laughs> it looks odd. It's pulsing. Let's see how much damage is that? Thirty-three. Okay, cool. Anyway, Drez, what are you doing? It would have been magic if you rolled a nat one following your crit on your second <sighs> kind attack. Of... Just the axe being taken aback by hand. what's going on. I kind <laughs> of don't want to do anything in the fight, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> Enhance ability on bird's strength. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh. How long does that last? Um, I can't go above 20 strength, though. No. Well, it doesn't actually increase 5e. your strength. This is 5e. Oh. This means you have advantage, advantage on strength checks, which includes attacks. Ah. Um, up to an hour. <laughs> Wee. That's great. <laughs> it's a concentration spell, though. Oh. So that limitation... And is it I will be strong. Sta- like I'm them. just going to stand back now, as as Bird is infused by Bull's strength, <laughs> Bull's strength. Da, 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 giving him da, 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 advantage da, 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 da. on strength checks, and his carrying capacity doubles. <laughs> and that's my. That's just. I'm going to be in this corner now. Okay, <laughs> Alaren, it's your away, turn. Away from the bad. Okay. I'm in here, and I go, whoa. That's a, that's a lot of... Okay. But I definitely see that crystal across the room. Yeah, I mean, you see all of the crystals and stuff. So is it possible for me to go... Let's see, I already moved three spaces, right? So can I go here? Uh, You can. It's an attack of opportunity, but yeah. Oh, because I passed that goblin? Yeah, I'm going to try and start remembering those. Okay. 
Okay. It, uh, I, I think it hits, right? I think it does. Ouch. Okay. Okay. You take, uh, three damage. All right. <laughs> They're very dangerous. And I'm going to take a little bit of slime. Not the slime slime, the, like, goo. Okay, bag of goo. From the bag of so goo. So you're going to have to make a uh, uh, perception check or whatever the... Perception? You're you're going for the crystal, right? Yes. You're going to have to roll that to see if you've even noticed the crystal. Oh, okay. Because you were down yeah, the stairs. this is six seconds. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah I don't no. notice it. You pretty much, uh, you're going to gloop one of the goblins. I'll give that to you. Well... Then I wouldn't have run past this goblin. Okay, just remember, metagaming, metagaming. Okay, fine. It's just big crystals. I I've given Dimitri noticing the uh, the crystal, like the damage he's done to it, because he blasted it and everything else. You, on the other hand, don't get no. Uh, no okay, benefits. well then, instead, can you I get nothing? Cast nothing. A day. Can I cast? I watch you zero points. Shatter on <laughs> these guys. Okay, sure. Uh, so they make uh, con checks? But remember, they get disadvantage if they're crystal in, yes. in nature. Constitution, yeah. One and... Okay, so one fails, one succeeds. Okay. So let's see. That means three, eight. What? Okay. All so right. that's the thunder damage. But... <laughs> Um, a creature made of inorganic material, Chris, uh, disadvantage on the saving save. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's it. Yep. Okay. Yes. I just want to highlight the the idea of the axe of wonder critting has quadrupled in chance between the uncovering of the double attack and the realization that now he has double, he has advantage, so he rolls twice. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. I feel pathetic. Maybe we should just leave the room. <laughs> Yeah, I did get I, electrocuted that one well, time. Well, that's because you rolled a nat one. And that hit everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're generally safe if he crits. Unless it's something really world-ending. Like a meteor shower. <laughs> oh, I can't erase that again. I don't know why. Oh, maybe now I can. Okay. Oops, and go. Skitter... Uh, I don't know what Skitter does. Uh Oh, okay. Skitter is feeling like helping. Well, the odds are Though even. Though his right? heart isn't into it, but he clobbernots the uh the goblin next to Dimitri. <laughs> Non-committally. All right. Uh let's see. It is Oh yeah, it's the the goblin's turn. I should probably add them to the turn order. I thought I had them in the turn order. You did. Oh, but I, I deleted I deleted one of them. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to drag this guy off. Uh, okay, there we go. Good call. So, uh, as you guys are kind of sitting there waiting Wait, there's stuff, more? More drop down uh, from the ceiling and stuff. Um, oops. Oh. One too many. Yeah, that's... No, no, no. Never mind. That was right. Okay, so yeah, more kind of just peel off of the the floor and the ceiling and whatnot. It looks like there's actually are a fair number are two of, of them stacked. Here. Yeah, I had two of them stacked for a moment. There's uh, another two oh, stacked up there. There they are. I guess copy and pasting. Yeah, so about five new ones kind of flip down and stuff. I feel like I'm in one of those horror films. There's too many of them. And they're ah. immediately <laughs> just going to start surrounding you guys. I'm extra considering the idea of just putting the door back on. <laughs> Take some effort considering three people are standing on it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so they're going to start wailing on people. Okay, so Lauren gets one, two, three, Ooh. four. Ooh. Oh, do they oh. all hit? Yeah, uh, four yeah. hit, four hits and one crit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, oh, wow. Sixty-four That's not a good start. <laughs> plus eight. You take 26 damage. I have one health point left. Okay. And then Damn. Dimitri. That's now, right? Not before. Now. Like after. Yeah. Like after. Like, you didn't walk into here with I'm one fine. hit point, did you? No, no, yep. no, no, no. Uh, one, of them, <laughs> one of them trips. 
<laughs> and then Drez is fine. So many crits and hits. Okay. Yep. Dimitri, it's your turn. Uh, I can't move to Aladdin because I'll get hit with attacks of opportunity. So, I guess she's on her own. Um, the guy who tripped, I would get a advantage on attacking. You him. already have advantage, so you can't get double. So advantage. it doesn't. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't double it. Yes. Uh, actually, if a if a character is knocked down, do I automatically crit? I forget how uh, they don't works. No, no, no. I crit if they're unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, if they're crit. tied I, up, I, if I they're don't restrained. Think he can attack of opportunity, you though. Yeah, uh, he but cannot. He, he cannot uh, attack of opportunity. You. He is. Yeah, but the guy who's directly next to me can. Yeah. However, so what you could I'm do well. is attack and then move and then attack again. Oh. You okay. have two attacks to spend and thirty feet, and I'm sure that's not how the rules work. But fuck him. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I will attack the one. Uh, I, I, <clears throat> I believe uh, I said you're next. All right. Yeah, you kill him. Okay. Then I uh, move over, and I guess I'll just... I don't know what Remember, you get to roll twice is. on each of these attacks, so you should be rolling twice on each of these attacks. So roll, oh, roll again, point. and then roll two more times. Okay. There we go. And then, uh... So he attacks the... twice, twice? No, he has advantage, yeah. and he attacks twice. Oh, okay. I'll attack the one, uh... Uh, directly... Like, the one that's diagonal from me. Upright. Okay, sounds good. Alright, and you kill him, too. Okay. Alright, Drez, it's your turn. This thing is in my personal space. <laughs> I want it out of my personal space. All right. That was an exceptionally low roll. It uh, <laughs> it succeeds. Uh, or take half damage. Um, it doesn't do that, anything. That went so terribly. Yeah. So you touch it, and pretty much the entire skin burns off, uh, leaving kind of Ew. a golem shaped. Uh, a goblin-shaped uh. crystal creature standing uh. before you. Oh, uh, because the blight probably only yeah. affects. Organic it doesn't material. affect constructs or undead, and this is an undead construct. So, well, shit. All right, Alaren, it's your turn. I I've got new dreams to haunt myself with. One HP. I'm not feeling good, and the problem is, if I try to get out of here, they're gonna attack me, aren't they? Uh, uh, if you do a complete... Yeah, you can do a dis disengage action and just book it. Yeah. What will that do, though? Uh, you can move 30 feet without pro uh, provoking an attack of opportunity. Really? Yeah. yeah. But what are the limitations on that? None. You just can't the take any other actions. The limitation is that it's, your, it's, your, it's an action. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I suppose I can. My other options aren't very great. So, eh. Ah, uh, they almost killed me, Skitter. Hi. <laughs> uh, okay. That does look real bad. You're, like, <laughs> bleeding from many claw marks. And I I can't do anything else, right? Nope. That is your action. Uh, I guess you could drink a potion. This. Yeah, I was going to drink a potion. Yeah, because the disengage is an action, then the move, but you still have a bonus. Okay, I'll drink. I suppose I just have them healing potions. It's probably just a regular healing potion then. It's the 2d4 plus 2 thing, right? Yeah. Eh, 5 HP. That's no good. And Skitter is going to demolish another one. He's not moving though. Uh, and now it's theirs. Okay. Um, so... Four more weird goblinoid creatures show up. What what sound do they make when they enter the Bethel? Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, it's it sounds pretty bad. And <laughs> uh, Jimbo McTrippington is gonna pop up. Four. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, so why do they keep coming? Ah. Yeah, you notice the uh. Uh, all of you get perception checks, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it, as long as you're in the room for more than a round, I'll give it to you that you pretty much see it. So, Dimitri, you didn't need to do it. You already hit the thing. Uh, but oh, you guys right. notice that the crystal, uh, it seems to be kind of powering these things. That each time one of them like. It, it will pulse regularly, and that's when the goblins fall down. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of pulse in sequence. And then when all the goblins are down, then it'll stop pulsing. Um, so anyway, they are going to start wailing on people. So two on Skitter. Ooh. Another crit. Yes. Jeez. It's been a bad day for everybody. Oh, my God. So you think... No, Skitter's Skitter's been pretty untouched now that I'm thinking about it. So I think this might actually be the first damage he's taken this whole whole fight. <laughs> Poor Skitter, <laughs> he's uh his day's gone real bad. Okay. Uh My character is so worn out after that fight. <laughs> Me quick pull up Skitter's stats. Okay. Fifty nine. I'm just gonna actually record his HP here so it it transcends. Uh, oops. 50 out of 59. And hopefully this will just carry over between sessions so I don't have to keep checking this. Because I don't actually remember his statistics that often. I know how he attacks, but since nothing ever attacks him, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And done. Okay. Uh, so Skitter, Skitter gets hit for 9. Uh, and then Dimitri, you have 3-4. One, four? two, three, four. And then Drez, you have one. Uh, so, Dimitri, you get hit twice? You have full plate yes. now. And yep. did you enchant it? I don't remember. Uh, No. Okay, so your armor class is 19? 18. 18. So you get hit twice. Yep. Uh, you take eight damage. Okay. And then it's your turn. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> I need to cut my way through these guys, but also not get hit with a attacks of opportunity. Okay. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to ask you a little question. If I if I hit the crystal, will you go away? Uh, answer me later when not dead. So this is the guy directly in front of me, to my right. Okay. Uh, yeah, you destroy him. Okay. And then the one that's diagonal upright from me. Okay. You destroy him too? Not very uh, durable. I guess I'll just risk the attack of opportunity. And just uh, run up to the crystal. I will get... Oh, it's two attacks of opportunity. No, it'd be three, right? Uh, it'd yeah, be it'd be three. Wouldn't it be two? Um, no, three, because there's this guy... Well, no, so here's the thing. You left. can... They're small creatures, so they don't block your way, so you don't have to go by the one that's not next to you. Or you only risk two attacks of opportunity. So if I go here, that's the two. Yeah, okay, well... I'll risk him. Yeah. Okay, so one, and then two. Okay, both hits. Yeah, you take another eight damage, but you get over to the crystal. Yeah, so I'm I'm at the base of crystal. Okay, Drez, it's your turn. You've got a whole pile full of full of critters in front of you. Oh goody! I'm slightly crap. Mm. Think, yeah, I gotta figure it out. Okay, so I, I'm burning down my list of options a little bit. So, Drez is going to shape, uh, take the shape of a crocodile. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we are going to be attacking the target in front of me. Okay. And I'm slightly delayed here because I'm like typing out my stuff in Notepad so I can copy it in the future. Uh. I 
There we go. So this is my bite action. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. That's the wrong thing to get a high number on out of two. Okay. So you uh you absolutely destroy the one in front of you. I hit it with an eleven. And a twenty. Oh yeah. wow. You you have advantage. oh you crit, mind. didn't you? No wait. no. He doesn't have advantage, I do. Then what's the second roll for? Oh wait. That's his damage. Wait. No. Typo. It's supposed to be a one D ten. Oh. Yeah, then you don't you don't kill it. Sorry. I was like, well, yeah. there's there's the crit on whenever your shit spell was, but no. No, I made a typo. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, you missed completely. Uh, but am, but am crocodile. Yeah, but you are a crocodile. <laughs> so that, that buys time. Alaren, it is, uh, it is your turn. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, the main part, uh. <clears throat> the main goal is to get that crystal destroyed. So, let's see. I I take the squishy squishy out of my bag and I apply a little bit of gloop to one side of it. And I weakly re extend my hand up to Skitter. Skitter! You're the only one agile enough to probably get this to the crystal around these goblins and whatnot. If this is able to destroy that crystal, then maybe it will vanquish all of them in one fell swoop. Uh, okay. And I'm I'm just way too weak. I'm at 6 HP. Okay. So Skitter takes your handful of gloop and... Then he's going to do something else. Oh. Oh, he just throws it into the center? Um, Let me figure out what he's doing. Yeah. We've created a situation where Skitter is the only one, the chosen one, who can solve the problem, and I'm sure he won't let us down at all. Die <laughs> <laughs> 20 plus 3. Okay, so this is the first one. Well, Fails. I just didn't trust myself to chuck it over Second and one. into the center Fails. of that group. Third one succeeds fourth one fails fifth one fails uh all right so skitter cast shatter he and, cast shatter yep okay and kills all of those um you can have your slime back if you want to get him I think I've made a uh, made a route or something. I don't know. Uh... He's just been waiting to cast that spell ever since you cast it in front of him, but he has never had a good opportunity. All right. Well, it looks like you learned a thing or two, huh? He still has the gloop in his hand. He's like staring at it, being like, "Uh." Use it on the big crystal, Skitter. Oh, uh, okay. I guess seeing as he has a move, he's going to go, uh, to, I think he makes it right next to Dimitri, but he can't gloop it down yet. Were those rolls for the goblins? Yep. They are crystal-y things. So about four more show up in various spots around the room. And let me spread them out a little bit so it seems natural-ish. Okay. Uh, so, sensing the fact that the, uh, crystal is in trouble, they're pretty much all gonna start coming for you. Except for this guy who's gonna go for Dress. Alright, so two on Skitter. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. What? So Skitter takes another 13 damage. And how many crits have there been? Too many. Too many. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mrs. Drez and then Dimitri uh, misses you. All right. Oh, I guess there's this guy too. Who? I guess he's going to go back for probably Dimitri. Okay. Dimitri. I'm trying to feel inadequate for only critting a door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
keep adding extra dice to this that it shouldn't be. Okay, Dimitri, you take three damage. Okay. All right. It is uh, it is your turn. All righty. Uh, I have a sense of priorities here, and uh, I will be attacking the big crystal. Okay. Oh, oh no. roll a die hundred. Oh, no. Also, did I ever get attacked? Uh, you did, it but they missed. Uh, it missed. Oh. <laughs> Rolling your die hundred. Okay. And <laughs> Skitter is right next to you. Oh no. Fifty. What does fifty-eight do? All right. So, you, uh, you draw, you, well, no. You bring your hammer down mightily against the ground. Sorry, hammer, axe. Uh And almost immediately, you and everything around you is bathed in a familiar, sooty, smoky, God damn it, not darkness again. Ashy fog. (laughs) Everybody that is Skitter starts suffocating. Everybody else that doesn't breathe in this group is fine, but can't see shit. Uh, Everybody uh, that is Skitter <laughs> starts suffocating. <laughs> He's the only one that breathes in the entire cloud. Um, <laughs> and that is... Uh, you do get another attack. You've dropped your axe, but I guess you can pick it up again. I pick it up. Okay. If you crit, I can laugh. That's, 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 that's my axe. No, right. no. Picking it up's a move. Okay. You haven't moved yet. All right, you get you get uh, you get advantage. I'm just horrified by his nat one. All nine. right, so you hit the crystal for a solid uh, twenty six damage. Probably. What sound? Uh, there is a decidedly like uh, crunchy, shattery. It's like um, it's like stepping on glass, probably. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Very crunchy. Yeah, gotcha. it's very crunchy. It's satisfying ish. You don't want to rub your fingers over it, and you have machine fingers. Uh, all right, Drez. You can't see anybody else except for the one one goblin before you, and then the one goblin that you squishled. God damn it! Darkness. Sucks. Nom. <laughs> hey, it could have been way worse. Have you have you ever actually looked at what you could potentially cast as part of all of this? Some of these are horrifying. Some are scary. All right. Yep. So, uh, Drez, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the opposite and try to eat the glass. <laughs> you uh, you miss. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. How do you miss with all this mouth? I know. <laughs> Maybe you're just not used to eating with it. It's almost like I don't have a plus eight to all my rolls. <laughs> uh Wait, can he even get a nat one when he has advantage? Yeah. If you roll yes. a nat, if you roll a nat one, it it trumps advantage. So he doesn't roll twice? I mean, what's he going to get well, another nat one? Yeah. Do you want that? Do you really want to open up that can of worms? Or do you want the <laughs> nat one crit? Both of those are scary. <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, we're just going to go say the nat, nat ones, nat 20s, trump, uh, disadvantage or advantage, respectively. Uh, and we'll go from there. Anyway, uh, Lauren, it's your turn. Okay. I approach so that I can at least see the massive fog cloud or ash cloud. Yes. And I will. Is it alright if I crush some mana crystals and then cast a spell? Yeah, that's a bonus action. Okay, so I crush another two mana crystals. Let me go to my inventory, make sure I actually crush them. Okay, and I'm going to cast another gust of wind so that I can clear out. Okay. A pass, so it's gonna. Uh, it's so gonna here, go like, hold on, whoosh. hold on. No, 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 no. It's some. It what? sometimes feels like you have an infinite collection of those. <laughs> I have thirty of them. Well, had thirty. Now it's at twenty-eight. Okay, hold on. They give me extra spell slot Shall? stuff. Yeah. Uh, draw a rectangle. That's the correct. Uh, size and shape. You can't see into that cloud. Uh, give me the direction that you're pointing this. Uh. This gust of wind. I want to That's go. That's why you're always so recklessly throwing around like level three and four spells. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of mana crystals. Yeah, I was gonna cast it that way, but this is another enclosed room, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's bigger than the last one was, though. The last one was like a 15 square foot room. Yeah, well, I'm sending it that way. Okay. Uh, so straight up. So let's reveal that. Okay, so Oops. Skitter, Dimitri, and two of the goblins all have to make uh, strength checks. Ah, uh, I see what you're getting at. Okay. I have strength of bull. Yeah, so you you get, uh, well, you're doubly, triply okay, because you also can't go anywhere. You're butt up but against also, that he crystal. literally has bull strength infusion. <laughs> yeah. Skitter, oh, nice. on Skitter. the other hand, uh, doesn't even feel the breeze. It's just, I'm just imagining the wind, you know, lightly brushing up against his beard. And <laughs> yeah, no, he looks majestic. He's ready he, he looks majestic as the smoke clears. He looks, you know, he's a little bit bloody. He's got his hammer clutched in one hand heroically and like a dagger uselessly in the other because he can't use it for anything. But he's got it there anyway just in case he needs to throw it and then. Hey, what about the squishy squishy? Uh, oh, oh yeah, the- yeah, sorry. He's got a hammer in one hand and just like, oh. Oh, you gave him a squishy. I thought you gave him a uh, some of the goop. A goop squishy? No, it's supposed to be oh, a tactile. Yeah, I thought you'd like... you'd you'd pulled uh, a handful of gloop out of your infinite bag of slime and handed that to him, and I was just like, "Are no, this is something for remote <laughs> yeah, detonation." No, you gave but... him an explosive. I get you now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, now he will do what you told him to, as opposed to stare at it questioningly, <laughs> because I didn't pick that up. I was like, "You're the only one that can." Yeah, use I wondered this why he was Christmas. acting so weird about it. It's because <laughs> I forgot Squishy, because she had the uh, jar of slime last session, which she you kind of wasted, and so I thought she remembered about the uh, the infinite bag of slime and was gonna like try and slime up the crystal somehow. I was like, "This seems weird." Nah. But there we go. Anyway. I just um, like adding one thing to the other so that the squishy squishy can stick. Okay. So uh, that pretty much is going to blow away uh, the 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 haze, the smoke cloud. Like maybe you can't see the two on the side. None of the goblins got bowled over? Uh, I haven't rolled for them yet. Uh-oh. I'm worried That's... about the ones that are going to potentially bowl into you yeah, guys. Yeah, so the, the ones with the ninjas you still can't see. They're inside the... Uh, they're inside the smoke cloud. Okay. So, one, two. All right, so one, the one on Skitter, gets bowled pretty much straight past him. He just ends up somewhere out here. And then the other one uh, manages to deal with it. All right. Uh, let's see, and it's Skitter's turn. Who is... Wait, how far did it go? <laughs> real far. Gust of wind is like a long distance. It's 15 Oh, it's feet. only 15? Oh, well, well, I well, thought it got to the end. Yeah. Okay, well, so it's okay, over here so it, no. it has a length of 60 feet, but it well, only blows back So the one 15. thing I will say, though, is... Uh, I, I forgot I should mention this. Uh, everything on the, the, the dark uh, is um, unsta- not unstable ground. It's slick. Oh. Like, you're standing on ice. Oh. I, I mentioned this previously, that whenever you're standing on this stuff, so you slid you away, slide. Yeah, so you, uh, anything that moves you, pushes you, or whatever, uh, is double, and you have, uh, you would have, like, issues if you try running across it, you know, divinity style. Uh, actually. That probably gives everyone disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. So, uh, Dimitri, roll another one. Oh, Okay. Well, he already rolled twice. Oh, yeah, he did. In the so, well, he had advantage and disadvantage, so really we just... Oh, my God. How does that work? Yeah, they null each other out, so I just take his first roll. That just makes... Yeah. Which solves the problem. But Skitter had a perfect yeah, roll. Yeah, Skitter so... had a net 20, so he's fine. Okay, so now that we've uh, dealt with all the homebrew nonsense, uh, Skitter is going <laughs> to... Um, he is going to... Now that we've dealt with the homebrew nonsense, Skitter is going to use a bomb. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so Skitter is going to... Um... After somebody else just used mana crystals in a 5e game. Yeah, so after the homebrew is done, let's homebrew some more. <laughs> uh, so Skitter is going to uh, just chuck it in. Uh, I assume he doesn't miss. You remember yeah. to squishy squish it first. Though, uh, well, right? he's got the. I was gonna say I think my character is the only one not using homebrew, but he's a lizard folk protagonist character. He's a lizard folk protect. <laughs> well, no, that turns into a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> what, you are the least homebrewed. Everything of yours except for the warp part of the warp Jordans. Hey, 
Hey, uh, I'm is... a normal Triton. I'm not a Warforged. Yeah, but mana, mana crystals aren't in 5e. Yeah, Michelle. your entire inventory he is homebrew. He called them mana crystals, though. They're not in 5e, though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying your inventory is almost entirely homebrew yeah. items. All right. Yeah, my inventory. You sticky lightsaber. bombs and mana crystals. And Damien. She has a lightsaber and uses <laughs> mana crystals. <laughs> And yeah, and you kill the last boss by sucking him into a black hole sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm, like, I'm a crocodile. <laughs> so Dimitri, uh, Skitter, uh, it throws a uh, an explosive into the hole that you made with your lightning bolt. He looks at you. He's like, "I'm leaving. Bye." And then he hides, and then presumably runs away. That's pretty bad. Uh, you know, they actually get a chance to maybe see him at that point. One and two. Nope, they don't see him. All right, Skitter's gone. Bye. I just imagine the one Skitter vanishes. He just has a Goku. <laughs> so he's just gone in one frame. Dimitri. I. Uh, Skitter is going to blow up the uh the bomb next to your head on your next turn. Do with that as I you will. Okay. All right. So the goblins, actually, uh, the crystal goblins, and not enough of them have been killed so only two more show up probably there and like here uh okay so they're going to more or less swarm dimitri Oh my god, these enemies are totally like the enemies from Fortnite where they're just wearing like a human hoodie over yeah, their body. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking about when I was making them. I just totally forgotten about those guys. All right, one, two, three. Oh no. Oh, four, Jesus. Five. All right, so you get hit twice. Your armor class was 19, yeah? 18. Oh, okay. That makes it a little hard to get away from the... Uh crystal okay you take 16 damage okay i'm actually going to just quickly check i believe plate armor is 18 uh i don't remember i think it was might be 19 is it not on your character sheet it is i have it as 18 yep plate is 18 i just checked okay uh that's fine yeah it is 18 cool. huh yeah it used to yep. be uh it used to be plus eight with a uh dexterity modifier of one yeah, you, the I like the, I kind of like how they simplified armor, but I feel like armor is overall weaker. Yeah, well, you have upgrade orbs, but not in the middle of combat. Anyway, got to get that natural armor. <laughs> also, that. <laughs> uh so anyway, we can't all be natty like you, Dress. Yeah, yeah. Get natural uh, armor. And anyway, so you take sixteen damage, and it is your turn. Okay. You are surrounded, okay. and there's a bomb next to your head. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now roll a crit. <laughs> can he like roll to bowl through them quarterback uh, style? I think uh yeah. I can I can use a disengage action and these are small creatures so yeah. I can step over them. Yeah, you could just actually run away from them. Of course. Uh I'm reminded of let me bring up a a, a picture really quick. <laughs> uh let's see. Oh geez, in Pathfinder it's a plus nine with a dex modifier of one. We this is this is what I imagine the scene looks like when they just attempt to bowl through all these goblins and run uh, away from them. <laughs> yeah. What? Is yeah. Sure. Why not? A lot of babies. So make a make a strength check to trample one. I'll give it. I'll, it's smaller than you. I'll give it to you. Bird has linked a picture of a statue fighting for babies. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the best way to explain what that looks like. It's so awesome. I have advantage on this too. Yeah, so. you do. Eh. All right. It didn't go as well no, as I wanted. You miss somehow. <laughs> and move your move your character wherever. Okay. So Drez, it's your turn. Oh right, I forgot you got you got attacked uh, twice there. I had forgotten about that. Oh. One and two, they miss you both. Wow. Uh, no, they hit me. Oh, right, because you're a crocodile. I have an AC of 12. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yep, you take 10. Why did you shapeshift again? 10 damage. It gives them... Because I'm out of attack spells. Oh. 
We just a bot. We just did a boss fight and then another fight and then they're like, "Here's 30 enemies." I'm like, um, and "You don't have a weapon." Gonna tank up. No, he, he, my weapon was my face. <laughs> yeah, gonna fight with it. He had a missing. A lot. He had a pike, which he threw away and never retrieved. And then I gave him a back black pike, uh, which is I don't in, need a pike. I've got a shillelagh spell. Yeah, that's free. Yeah. So the, instead, I was gonna do the buffer of uh, of shape shifting health. So the black pike is actually in Dimitri's inventory and has been forgotten about this entire time. Nobody has even. If nothing has it. different stats. I don't even know him. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, it is your turn. What are you doing? Well, do we figure out damage? You took ten. Okay. It's not great news. Well. Uh, this little crocodile's gonna haul ass in a disengage action. <laughs> okay. it's not going well. <laughs> All right. And <laughs> I'm outnumbered and I'm not winning. <laughs> Alaren, it's your turn. Um Take cover <laughs> I can't really scooch past him down the stairs. But well. Just want to get outside the blast radius. Okay. And Skitter's turn. Skitter is going to point the Wand of Detonation, which has not been used yet and is on his person for reasons, uh, and he's going to blow it up, which does, uh, I think, about 30 damage to, well, they get reflex saves. The reflex saves don't save them, though. All right. Well, they all die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the crystal takes another 30. So, I, I'm i just going to be honest here. A bit of metagame knowledge for you guys. It's it has powerful. one HP. What? So what is it? Like, there's there's just striations <laughs> and cracks all it throughout is, its form, and it's barely holding itself yeah. together. There are, like, chips it sort is, of, like, chinking the ground. There is more hole than crystal there. I'm not sure how to describe it. <laughs> It's a uh, crystal Swiss cheese. Yeah, pretty much. Like it, uh, it. You know when a Jenga Jenga tower has been like Jenga to hell and back again, and there's nothing left of <laughs> yeah. Jenga. That is what you have uh -huh. in front of you, at in the middle of this room. It looks like, uh, even just looking at this Jenga tower of crystal is enough to send it falling over. Oh wait, shit, Shell, your gust of wind is still going. Yes. Eh, fuck it. It takes one more damage as it falls over. Well. <laughs> Well, Gust of Wind goes with you. Oh. So if it's still going, then she's hitting people with it. So I'm presumably she stopped Never when she mind. ran into this hallway. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, Shelly, you got to remember that. Gust of Wind is not like where you place it. it oh, It what, emanates really? from you. Yeah. It's from me? Yeah. Oh, It never wouldn't mind have changed then. it. But yeah, so currently, since you haven't gotten rid of your Gust of Wind, well, you are currently turning that staircase into the worst wind <laughs> on the lever. And you have a very upset <laughs> crocodrez in there with you. <laughs> What? Probably. Would I have lost my concentration, though? No. Nah. Unless you gave it up, which you might have. All right. That's the direction I choose. Well. But if I move... One more goblin comes kind of awkwardly teetering down from the ceiling. It looks a bit timid <laughs> and confused. I was going to say, is the goblin, like, also Swiss cheese? It says here that <laughs> as a bonus shaky. action, I can change the direction of the spell. So I'm not changing it i think i think it's still emanating from you though let me look it up no it's uh, yeah a strong 60 foot long line comes from a direction you, you choose from you and, you and then when you change the direction it comes from you it's always it, all the language always points at it coming oh, from you even i when didn't you're changing cast its direction. it properly at all well from now on oh wait was she standing not at its source no no, no. I, I it, it down... actually wouldn't have well... changed anything uh, from no. like the placement, except for the fact that she now backed into a staircase, and it's doing all sorts of horrible things to Crocodrez, probably. Yeah, you or can't Dimitri. draw arbitrary lines on the screen with Gust of Wind. It actually comes from your character. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was thinking it was like my other spells that I had done before, where I just choose a spot, but nah. Okay, one... 
two, three. All right, three goblins uh, scrape ineffectually at your armor, Dimitri. And it is your turn. Okay. Uh, well, I guess... <laughs> um, I could do things. Or... I'm going to attempt to throw the Axe of Burning Wonder. Okay. Roll to hit. At the crystal. Roll to hit. Oh, this would be a weird time. All right. <laughs> Roll again. Nope. Okay. It would have been a great was time for a natural one or a crit. <laughs> but <laughs> instead... Why was he rolling again? He has advantage. On um, strength. Oh, yeah. Throw strength, dude. I mean, it's too late now. Throw it? Oh. It, it's too, yeah, it's too late now, yeah. Throwing, uh, throwing a melee weapon is a strength or a dexterity, depending on what kind of weapon it is. So, like, if you're throwing, like, a throwing axe, it's a strength, uh, rocks, oh, so okay. on and so forth. If you're throwing, like, something nimble and slender, it's, uh, it's dexterity. Gotcha. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, I, I try to, you uh, send it, be graceful as I throw the axe. Yeah, so you send it whizzing across the room with a much... You extend your pinky. Yeah, <laughs> with a much, much higher, <laughs> higher, uh, bonus than what you showed there. And it... Uh, kind of clonks into the crystal and it just shatters. It's kind of one of those like uh, it, w uh, Looney Tunes or something where like just something bumps the like precarious looking thing and then it all just comes down. It was like barely even a yes. bump. I, it was more than yep. a bump than that, but it kind of looked like that. And now your I axes... assume it just basically explodes in the glass. Oh yeah, you you shatter the thing. It's awful. And all mm. of the uh, all of the goblins in their or the crystal things in their meat suits. Uh, just kind of collapse. And so the party destroys the crystal growth above the gatehouse, or in the gatehouse, and, uh, you know, deals with the goblins, thus granting them access to the greater part of the, uh, the main fortress. But what will they find there? The source of the goblins? The source of the crystals? Well, I guess that's all just the swirling vortex overhead. But either way, why is it all happening? I guess you'll have to find out on the next episode of Dungeons & Dragons, Grave of Man. <laughs>